What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue the gauntlet series for the Bowers and Wilkins PIA earbuds. This has been a lot of fun so far. Their next opponent, as one that everybody's been waiting for, been asking for, the DVLA Gemini 2s. Oh, this is going to be a really good head-to-head. -head. I can't wait to get to the sound test to see how these two compare. If you want to see price specs and app breakdowns for each of these, as always, I'll leave links in the description below to my uh, unboxing videos. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And also, I did, we'll also have links to the prices and everything else. All right. And uh, I'm, I'm so excited I'm losing my words here. All right. Let's take a quick look at these. Uh, real, they're both of the in-ear form factor. I think the... Uh, DVLA Geminis are a little less chunky than the PI-8s, but still both of them have a very nice and very unique uh, for, uh, design to them. Both of them are extremely comfortable. I think I triggered something. All right, so I think I triggered something. Sorry, I make sure it's turned off. All right, let me put these back in. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through, you know, our our comparisons with the mics and the ANC, and then we're going to come back for that sound test. Stay strapped in. This is a mic test with the Bowers & Wilkins PIA earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bowers & Wilkins PIA earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Bowers & Wilkins PIA earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the Bowers and Wilkins PIA earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the DVLA Gemini 2 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the DVLA Gemini 2 earbuds in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the DVLA Gemini 2 earbuds in a crowded location. This is a mic test with the DVLA Gemini 2 earbuds in a crowded location. All right, we are out in my backyard. We're going to do a noise canceling test for the new Bowers and Wilkins PIA earbuds. As you can see, I have them in the ear. Very comfortable. I did go ahead and uh, switch out with the larger ear tips for a better seal, better, more comfortable fit. I ain't got to worry about them falling out at all. Uh, just to wonder, and also wanted to let you guys know that. So let me paint a picture real quick. We got traffic from behind us. Uh, on the house, in street behind us, rather, there's the turnpike bridge. We got some traffic noise that way. Uh, it's uh, it's nice and uh, nice and hot out, so we're gonna have some air conditioners kicking off and on, including mine, which is right behind me. Um, we just missed an airplane. That would have been great to have. I don't know if you can hear the semi in the back in the distance there. Also, uh, so we got a good test bay here. So what we're gonna do? We are currently in. Uh, pass through mode uh, So what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and flip these guys into noise canceling Here we go All right noise canceling has been turned on All right again, there is no like levels to it or anything like that uh, It did quiet down a good bit of the uh, no of the background noise I can't hear the traffic on the street. That's gone uh, the, as far as the semi, that has gotten a little bit quieter. Well, a lot quieter, actually. I ain't gonna say that. However, I thought I was hearing some kind of hiss in the right earbud. Um, yeah, just a, it's a faint hiss. I'm hearing that. Uh, but again, that it's, it's negligible, but I did want to point that out. Um, but it did do it's doing an okay job pretty good at uh knocking out all the you know the ambient noise like i said some i can still hear um others i cannot so it's doing a decent job again i'm not listening to any music so this is just the strength of the noise canceling technology in the earbuds um so if i had to rate these guys on a one to ten one being absolute trash ten being the the best ever I would give these guys, I think, a solid six on that because, like, again, they're not knocking out everything. They did knock down some of the louder sounds, uh, they, although they did get rid of the traffic noise from the, tra from the street behind the house. You know, it's not taking away everything. So I think a solid six would be a, a pretty fair 
um, score, which is not bad. I, I, it's better than most. And I think for 400 bucks, I would think I would be giving these guys a seven, seven and a half easy, but dumbs is the brakes. Uh, I'm just keeping it 100. Uh, so this has been the ANC test for the Bowers and Wilkins PIA earbuds. All right, what we're gonna do now is the ANC test for the Gemini, or let me, Devin LA Gemini earbuds. Uh, we're out in my backyard. Uh, I got audio coming from the traffic right over uh, on the street over here. I got some coming up for, we've got uh, traffic this way. It just got finished raining. It's starting to clear up a little bit. And I've got some good wind noise, so I got a good test bed here. Also, I got some uh, neighbors and everything going on. So, what we're going to do now? I'm just I do, I'm using my S23 uh, Ultra to film this, so I cannot show you the app per se. But um, I am. We're going to go ahead and do this anyway. Full disclosure: I did switch out and go through the larger ear tips, so I can get better uh, seal. So what we're going to do now? I'm going to go ahead and long press on the right earbud to turn on noise canceling. I'm currently in transparency mode, and I have to admit, it's uh, pretty decent. I, I can hear everything. So let's go ahead and uh, long press. All right, I got the chime. Noise canceling has been activated. Um, to be honest, it, it, it's okay. It's nothing uh, fantastic. Um, I wouldn't even put this on the the level of uh, let's say mm, uh, I think these are on the level of the OnePlus Buzz Pro 2 Beat Studio Buds to that area of uh, that level of noise canceling. Again, no music is being played, so it's just the strength of the noise canceling uh, technology in the earbuds themselves. This is how I'm getting it done. Like I just saw a bus go by. I could bear, I could hear it a little bit. It's over here on the other side, of sh other side here on the street, but I can still hear, hear it somewhat. It's not completely canceling out. But as far as wind noise, I'm not getting any wind noise. Although I do feel the wind on me, which is good. Um, that's a good thing uh, when it comes to uh, noise canceling. All right. So again, like I get. Not top tier, but it does filter out some uh, some sound. But like I said, it, it, it's decent, and I think that's all I got for it. So this has been the ANC test for the DVLA Gemini Twos. All right, we are back in for that sound test everybody's been waiting on. I did a coin flip off camera, and we're going to start off with the DVLA Gemini Twos. I mean, real quick, just wanted to show you guys that they, I don't know why I did that. We're in our app right now, and this is my EQ settings. All right, this is, we're going to use my own personal settings for these, uh, for this, we have been using it for this series, and we're going to continue to do so. So just wanted to show you that real quick. You bounce out. All right, right now we are in transparency mode. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and flip these guys over to noise canceling. All right, got that sound uh, for noise canceling. That's turned on. Oh, and to let you know, I am rocking, what is these, the CP? Yeah, CP1025 ear tips on the Gemini's, Gemini 2s rather. Uh, just so that you, just to let you guys know, I, not, I am not using their stock tips at this moment. All right, so let's go ahead and get our music queued up. I do not, I know I don't have that done. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm so excited. I'm slacking here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get our music up. All right. There we go. All right, we got our first song up. All right, let's make sure we got our optimal listening level. I think we're good right there. All right. Here we go. All right. Already nice volume. These guys got a nice natural volume tool. Nice clarity. 
Man, this sounds so really clear. And you got depth. You feel the depth in it. Not to mention the detail with the breaths. Oh, these sound really good. Very clean. Very, I'm liking the clarity and the sound stage when the background and vocalists come in, they're, they're nice and clean and clear and the sound stage is, just winds out nicely. Very clean. I'm. Oh man, that is really, really clean. I, very nice sound there. Oh, so good. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys flipped over. We'll put the PIH through for the first song. Let's do it. All right, back in for our first song with the PIH. I just wanted to show you guys, I am using their large stout, uh, stock ear tips. I got a little earwax on there. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. All right, let me get that cleaned off a little bit. All right, before we start. Okay, let me go ahead and put this one in. All right, right now we are in their app and I am in pass-through mode. All right, I just want to quickly show you all the EQ. There it is. All right. Let's go ahead and switch over. Switch them back into noise canceling. All right, noise canceling has been turned on. We are in the, our optimal listening level. We are there. All right. And here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Again, another one. Nice, bright volume, natural volume. They get. Oh, okay. Nice sound stage, background vocalists. All vocalists, for that matter, sound very clean, very clear. Very nice. Very clean. And again, the detailing, the parsing of the lips, the breaths. And again, the background vocalists, when they come in, that sound stage widening out, nice. Very clean. Oh man. Woo, this is, is going to be a heck of a battle, man. They both sound wonderful here in the acapella song. Ah, I did the clarity, the detail, they just both sound really good. However, there is a slight difference, and we'll talk about that when we, when we pick our winner. I'm going to save it till then, but there is a slight difference. But both of them, other than that, they both sound fantastic with the sound, with the the clarity and everything, and the sound stage. It was oh, just so good. This is a great one. All right, let's go ahead and flip over to our bass song. All right, back in, we got our bass song up. We got the Gemini 2s in. Let's go. Oh, right off the bat, nice punchy bass. Gives you those levels and everything. Nice, clean bass. Here's a bass drop. Nice rumble. One more time. Oh, yeah. Nice rumble with that reverb in your ear. And then you got that four second one. Oh, it sounds so good. And again, there's a balance here with the shimmering of this one. The shimmering sound, although it's nice and clean and clear, there is a balance. So there's no one, it's not trying to uh, overpower the bass. Uh, in these earbuds, so I love it. Oh, this sounds so clean. Uh, they are packing the punch. Here's that bass drop again. Oh, yeah. One more time. Oh, that rumble, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, these, uh, these, these little guys are packing a wallop. Man, that was a great... Great representation or production, rather, reproduction of the sound. That bass on these was phenomenal. All the de detailed levels of it, the reverb was powerful, rattling in the eardrums. I love it. 
All right, let's go ahead and get these guys switched over for the PI and have the PI8s do the bass test. All right, we back in, got the PI8s in, bass song, let's go. Actually, you know what, before we do that, let's make sure that these guys, okay, I just wanted to make sure noise canceling was turned on before we did that. Let's go. All right, right off the bat, nice, again, nice bright sound. Powerful bass. Very clean, nice detail. Nice reverb on that bass drop. Very, very clean. Again, the shimmering sounds nice and crisp. The thing I guess trying to overpower a little bit. N not much, but a little, oh, well, it's a little, it's noticeable. Again, nice bass though. The bass is just powerful, thumps. Very clean. Bass drop again. One more time. Yes. I love the reverb. Love it. All right. Again, very powerful bass. The reverb, I love it. The ear rattling, the eardrum rattling, I just love it. Again, the one thing is, is that uh, that shimmering sound, uh, the balance just isn't quite there, um, but still a really, really great sound. I love the bass on these. These guys, uh, both of these are just knocking it out the park in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and get switched over to our final song. See how these guys do. All right, back in for our third and final song of this of this head to head. Let's get to it. All right, right off the bat, nice bright volume, crisp high keys, nice little rumble on the low keys. Very good. All right, that lead saxophone sounds great, nice and crisp. Sound stage widens out. And, he, and then there's some depth too. You can just a little bit of depth there too. I like it. It's like it's not right. In, I don't know how I can describe it, but it sounds great. I'm loving this. Again, like I said, you get those certain type of earbuds or headphones that take you that in your favorite songs, they take you somewhere else. All right, again, great, great sound out of these. The clarity on the keys, both the high, the crispness of the high keys, the uh, the nice little bass on the low keys on the keyboard. The crit, uh, just the saxophone was just amazing sounding. Uh, man, I, you, they just it was just a great, great sound, man. Uh, oh, it was just just wonderful. All right, so what we're we gonna do now? We'll go ahead and get these guys switched out. We will put the PI eights through the final song. Let's do this. All right, we're back in. PI eights in. Last song. Let's go. Nice. Again, bright sound, nice clarity on the keys. Them high ends sound nice and crisp. The low ends sound nice little rumble there. Oh, again, the crispness. Oh, I just love it. Again, sound stage widens out as well. Very clean. Oh, man. Sounds so good. Oh, it just sounds so good. Ah, man. Just the clarity. And the crispness. I done got a little quiet because I was focusing on the detail, the crispness of it. Oh, this sounds so, so good. This has been a great matchup. All right. 
Now let's go ahead. Uh, oh, these both of them just came just really, really put on a show here, in my opinion. And if you have these songs, follow along. If you got the either of these earbuds, or if you got other ones, follow along, man. The, these, this was great. All right, let's get this cleaned up. We'll come back. We're going to discuss these three songs real quick, and we're going to pick our winner. Stay strapped in. All right, back in. This has been a great episode. It has been well waited for and well worth the wait, rather. Let me put it that way. Both of these earbuds did a wonderful job at reproducing the sound on all three levels. But let's go ahead and uh, talk about the whole the whole package. First off, the apps. If I had to give someone the uh, uh, as far as the app goes between the two of these, I'm going to go ahead and give them both points on that. Nothing in their app, you know, differentiates one from the other. So they'll both get a point there when it comes to uh, no, uh, excuse me, the mics again, I'm going to give them both a point because uh, I have no problems. Or well, actually people tell them with me having them on uh, people, I haven't had people who have problems with me. Uh, hearing, well, hearing me when I'm talking to them. All right. And then of course, when you get into the noise canceling, I'm going to give that edge to the PI eights. I think the PI eights have a better, have better noise canceling than the Gemini twos. Although the, it's, they have solid A and C, uh, but I'll give that, that point, uh, to the PI eights. All right. So moving on into our music now, both, like I said, both of them did a wonderful job, but there were differences. There were, uh, Subtle, diff slight differences between them. Let's go with the first song. All right, all acapella, no instruments. Both of them did a wonderful job with clarity, soundstage, and, you know, and overall natural volume. However, you can hear the depth a little, little bit more with the Gemini's than you did with the PIA. So it seems like there's a little bit more depth to the to the vocalist to their voice with the uh, uh, Gemini twos. All right, so then moving on to the bass song. Both of them had great uh, punchy bass, nice uh, low end, the uh, reverbs were really good, Rat eardrum rattling, very nice. But I'm going to give that one again to the Geminis. I think their bass was just a little bit more forceful uh, when compared to the PI-8s, um, in my opinion. All right, and not to mention, I didn't even... Yeah, I didn't even mention the shimmering sound in there. It was more balanced on the Gemini 2s than it was on the PI-8s. You could hear how the shimmering sound was trying to, uh, was, I gotta say trying to, it seemed like it was going to overpower the bass at certain points, but then, but throughout the entire song with the Gemini 2s, it was nice, even balance. All right, now going into our third song, Strictly Instrumental, No Vocals. Again, both of them, nice, natural volume, got nice and loud, didn't really, have, didn't have, no need to turn them up, nice crisp keys, and uh, the and the uh, lead saxophone, if I can find my words, was nice and crisp, Very, again, lovely sounding, nice balance, however, again, the depth comes to play when it comes to the Gemini 2s. They they just had a little bit more depth to the to their to the sound than it did with the PIA. The PIA sound a little bit more upfront, uh, right in your face type. Where you know you had like some, you know you had some depth to it. You can really enjoy it if you're listening. Um, again, subtle differences between the two, but both of them did a fantastic job. Now, here's a moment of truth. If I had to go with one based on everything we just discussed. Which one would I go with? There I go again. I, I keep hitting that thing, <laughs> triggering it to go off. If I had, like I said, if I had to pick one of these as the winner today, I would have to say it's the Gemini 2s, mainly because of the bass and the depth of the of the sound within them. I mean, they I, that's the mainly that's the main things that separate these from the PI8s, in my opinion. So my winner will be the Gemini 2s, but again, there I go, there I go, I, I absolutely enjoy the new Bowers and Wilkins PI-8s, I really do, 
I think these are a great pair of earbuds. And man, these are, uh, they, they're just really good. They're just going up against some juggernauts at the moment. But they did do a wonderful job uh, in this episode. Uh, again, like I said, just a few small differences between these two that separates them. All right. So this has been episode three of the Gauntlet series. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, give me a like. And if you want to go ahead and join me as we wrap up the finale here in a little bit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when videos like this and others drop. I just got something in. I'm going to unbox uh, here soon. I got another one unboxing video coming up right after this, up, right after this series. You don't want to miss them. Make sure you subscribe, hit notification bell, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.